Should you write across genre? I have a controversial answer to a controversial topic. If you want to start a war in any writing community, ask the question of whether writers should write in multiple genres. close. There are two sides to this argument. Camp A says that you shouldn't write across genre because you're essentially building separate audiences with each genre you write in. Camp B says that you should write across genre because you should follow your dreams and if those dreams involve multiple genres, so be it. Most advice around this topic is usually given very cautiously. Here's my take on it. You are in charge of your career. If you don't like the idea of writing across genre or if it's just not in your DNA, then don't do it. If the only thing you want to do is write space opera, then by all means, keep writing space opera. However, I personally don't want to confine myself to a single genre. I understand the other side's arguments, but it always rubbed me the wrong way, and until recently, I could never explain why. So here's my advice, and here's where it gets controversial. If you want to write across genre, then do it. Do it and don't look back. Recently, I had to decide what my next fiction series was going to be. I could have chosen between epic fantasy, a post-apocalyptic story, or a romance. I wrestled with this for a few days and it was agonizing. And can you guess what my biggest hang up was? What readers would think. You see, I was so worried about what readers would think about me and my catalog. Would they get confused? Would they declare me as flaky? Would they follow me across genre? My business mind was ablaze with warnings. But you know the one thing I wasn't thinking about? The story. That's why the idea of not writing in multiple genres always rubbed me the wrong way. Most of the time, it's coming from a place of fear. Don't write urban fantasy because readers won't follow you. Don't write romance if you write fantasy because it will dilute your brand. You won't sell any books. Writers get so scared that they won't make any money that readers will forsake them, that the world will end if they write in another genre, that they don't do it and they settle for something safer instead. Then many years later they wake up and find it much harder to genre hop. But I would argue that if you want to write across genre and if you don't do it, you're letting your subconscious down and you're leaving valuable experience on the table. I don't know about you, but I want to be a professional writer. Not just a bestseller on Amazon, but a professional in every sense of the word. I don't chase sales, I don't chase reviews, and if I can be really honest with you, the entire reason I'm writing at all is because a few years ago, I could have been dead. If I wanted to play by someone else's rules, then I'd just quit writing and keep working in corporate America until I retire. But I'm pursuing this lifestyle because of the creative freedom it gives me. And I love my readers, but when it comes to picking what I am going to write, what will give me creative abundance, what will fulfill me, that is a decision that only I can make. And every genre has its unique challenges and learning opportunities. You're going to approach science fiction very differently than you would romance, and romance very differently than you would historical fiction. And along the way, you learn new and unique tools that you can use to cross-pollinate other genres. After a while, you'll have a unique style and author voice that readers won't be able to ignore. If you take the time to learn your craft, read representative books in the genres you write in, and learn from professional writers further along the path than you are, the end result is that you'll be a better, more versatile storyteller. Because that's the hidden benefit of being a multi-genre writer that almost no one talks about. Instead of focusing on whether a book in a new genre will sell, think instead about the benefit of what a new genre can teach you as a storyteller. It's your storytelling abilities that help you sell books, not your choice of genre. And yes, readers do care, and some won't follow you because they won't be in the target audience for your next book, but that's called marketing. And here's another hidden benefit. The more you write, regardless of what you write, the stronger your author voice will become. What if you could become a multi-genre author with a unified voice? What if, for example, readers could read a romance by you or a science fiction novel by you and rave about both for the same reason, good storytelling? What if down the road, it was your voice and storytelling ability that attracted readers instead of genre. Wouldn't that be something? It's possible. Change your perspective. Think bigger. Don't make decisions for your writing business based on fear. My entire career is founded on one simple cornerstone. Have fun with what I'm doing and the money will follow. If you've been nodding your head so far, I have to tell you that unfortunately, there is a catch. There is the danger that you can go too far with writing multiple genres. If you don't understand the framework of the genres you're working in, it can lead to a chain effect of problems for you down the road. For example, if you don't read in the genre that you're writing in, 
If you don't have a book cover that's properly branded to that genre, if you can't name two to three other books that your book might be similar to, if you don't know what goes into a good book description in that genre, then yes, it might seem like writing in another genre was a bad idea. Making mistakes in any one of those elements will make your book harder to market, but those are fixable. If you're going to walk this path, then accept the fact that you will have to become a marketing expert and that your job is going to be harder. Book covers will be three times as important. Better yet, spending the time and money to develop author branding for your covers is a smart idea early on. Make sure you're reading like a demon too, because you have to have your finger on the pulse of what readers' expectations are. Those are the catches. But when you really think about it, every author has to do those things I mentioned, right? Whether you're a multi-genre author or not, you still have to pay the same price. So, do you see where I'm coming from? That's it for this video. If this is your first time watching, I'd love to have you subscribe or click the like button on the video page. If this video helped you in some way, do me a favor and share it. I'd love to see what 